Uh, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to last night. Not sure if it was the fear of whatever that thing was last night or something else entirely. Uh, but I feel a lot more lethargic now than I was feeling yesterday morning. I already finished my breakfast and I honestly probably would have missed making an entry here if I hadn't noticed my recorder poking out of my bag as I was putting everything away. It's also a bit chilly this morning compared to what the temperatures were for the past two days. However, I recall that a cold front was supposed to move into the area today. So that would explain the lower temperatures and the cloud cover I'm seeing at the moment. Uh, it'll be nice to have lower temperatures for once since the afternoons got pretty sweltering at times. And I think I'll have more energy on the trail now that the sun isn't constantly beating me into submission. <laughs> I was looking at the trail maps to determine where to stop for lunch, water, and whatnot. And it seems that I should arrive at the Ridgeview campsite at about 1.15 p.m. And I'll arrive at the Moore campsite at about 7 p.m. So that's what I'll be shooting for today. I gotta get going now, though, if I hope to make it to the locations in time. So I'll be ending this entry here, and we'll report back with an update when I stop for lunch or something. Or something where documenting happens. Okay, it's been about two hours since I left the old Hickory campsite, and I've noticed some strange things as I've been walking along. First of all, I have not seen a single other person hiking or backpacking on the trail other than myself today. While the absence of day hikers was to be expected, the fact that I have not seen another backpacker at all during this time is a little concerning to me, uh, especially since this is the time of the year most people go out to hike and backpack before the temperatures become unbearable during the summer months. Granted, I tend to like being alone while I walk in nature, but I still would like to see at least one or two other people every so often in case I need to get help in the middle of this Appalachian wilderness. Speaking of wilderness, take a listen at this. Yeah, that's the other weird thing I've noticed a little while ago. Nature is absolutely dead silent right now. No insects buzzing, no birds chirping, no deer or other animals rustling somewhere. Nothing. It's actually kind of unnerving, really, since I'm here partially to indulge in the natural world. And nature being dead silent sounds anything but natural to me. I'll return with another update at lunch. Hopefully nature becomes a little more alive between now and then. I'm currently prepping lunch at the Ridgeview campsite, although I actually almost completely missed it because of the lack of signage indicating its location to hikers. It's, uh, it's also looking more dilapidated than the previous campsites I've encountered. Although the maintenance of these campsites and shelters have been known to be somewhat spotty from time to time, still I can't help if it's just me not thinking straight like usual, the atmosphere throwing off my mood, or something else going on with me for me to just completely bypass a place I had planned to stop at for lunch. Nature has remained really silent since I ended my last century, though I have heard some distant noises about 10 minutes before I arrived at Ridgeview campsite. They weren't the same kinds of sounds I heard last night, but they still didn't sound like the any kind of animal sound I've ever heard in my life. I don't know what's going on between the lack of anybody else on the trail and these other weird things going on, but it's starting to creep me out quite a bit, and I don't really want to stay in one spot for too long, lest something undesirable happens to me. So, uh, on that note, I'm going to finish cooking lunch, eat, and get out as soon as possible. I hope I'm just being paranoid or something, but I don't like the feelings I'm getting right now. Okay, I'm probably way more tired than I thought I was, but I could have sworn I saw something moving through the trees just now. I'm thinking it's just me moving my head too fast and that's making me see big things moving up my peripheral vision. But with all the other weirdness that's been going on since this morning, I'm not sure what to think anymore. Uh, I think I'm just going to hurry towards the more campsite now so I can just set up camp, eat dinner, and just go straight to sleep before the sun sets. I really don't want to be awake at night with all this crap going on around me. As for the whole sightseeing thing, I only really care about the views atop Overlook Peak anymore. I had wanted to get a look at some of the other views this section of the Pinewood Trail had to offer, but I, I don't feel comfortable standing around 
unnecessarily at the moment. I'm currently inside my tent at the Moore campsite. I've already eaten dinner and everything despite me being two hours ahead of schedule. I'm trying to get some sleep right now, but yeah, I'm not really succeeding at that. I'm starting to hear some similar noises to what I was hearing last night, and I'm just doing really anything I can to help me get some rest, since I think my lack of adequate rest last night is affecting my mind in some way. And I want to compensate for that by getting extra rest tonight. I won't be back until tomorrow morning because I really need the rest tonight, right now. Good night, everyone.